Welcome back, everybody, to First Ring Daily, where it's um, Tuesday. Two days in a row, Paul. <laughs> Living up to that daily promise one day at a time. Yeah, your head is uh, unusually it's large enormous. today. I know. Let me, maybe I could move back a little bit. <laughs> it reminded <laughs> me of uh, N64, the, uh, what was it, big head mode mm -hmm. uh, in multiplayer. Right. But uh, you're clearly in what might be just or might be known as the OG office over there in the <laughs> That's right. Right. This uh, this house we have that has too many rooms, so we kind of use this as a dining room that we never eat in. Which one does the servant live in? <laughs> we have a whole suite for the servant downstairs. There's a full bath, a, a bedroom, and then a giant what used to be like a like a TV room, I guess. Yeah. And yeah. It, it's so old that it. There's a cutout in the wall for the rare projection TV that would have been there. Yeah, but it also has some fancy wood flooring down there, doesn't it, too, that you put down yourself? <laughs> some uh, partially constructed... Hand-laid. Hand, yes, <laughs> handcrafted, finest Chinese laminate. No, actually, it's American laminate. Uh, you actually have to be careful about that. Apparently, Chinese laminate has some chemicals in it that it's very bad for you. Speaking of chemicals, is that why you're not in your office, Paul? Yeah, partially. Um, it's funny, you know, being in this room, I mean, because at the time we moved in, when I would have been in this room as an office, uh, we had a lot of work done in the house. Part of that was painting, and then months went by, and we didn't do too much work, but lately we've picked it up a little bit. So we're getting some windows fixed, and we have the painters back, and so the painters are here to paint the rest of the house, the part they didn't get to mm -hmm. the first time. So that includes the... The office I'm in now, which used, used to be the dining room, <laughs> right? Um, uh, we put it in French doors, which is exactly what I had back in my house in Dedham. So it's th that office, that room is in the same place in the house. And we added French doors just like we had done in Dedham. Mm -hmm. uh, but they were unpainted, so now they're going to get painted. It's exciting. Yeah, paint. Who would have... I don't know. It's fun, it's fun to sleep to the smell of paint. You kind of I... wonder if you're going to wake up with like a brain injury. I know, but I, I secretly love walking into a room that's been freshly painted. It's sort of like when you buy a new car and you get in there and it smells really good, and then you kind of wonder, is like, this actually killing me? Yeah, you're like, I'm dead. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm going to go down with a smile. Yep. <laughs> go down with a smile. Yep. I'll tell you what, Paul, I'm, I don't know if I'm smiling about this one. So this was announced yesterday. This is the yep. RTX, uh, is the new branding for NVIDIA's uh, 2080 series of GPUs. Has mm -hmm. some fancy new custom stuff and all that, and um, there, there's something that, that's rubbing me the wrong way here. So, vast majority of the keynote was dedicated to things like ray tracing. Um, there was some AI stuff because they've got a bunch of whatever what, can't even, tensor cores on there and, and things that sound great. <laughs> but, things that sound complex and computer sciencey. Here, here's here is my problem. Now, one of the things that they talk about a lot with GPUs. Is like, it's great for like AI and deep neural networks, but these cards specifically aren't targeted for that. That's when you buy like a Titan or a Quadro or something else. These are gaming cards, which means all you care about are frames per second. And I, all NVIDIA did not talk about on stage was frames per second. <laughs> yeah, it's, right. They talked. I mean, yeah, there was a lot of lecturing. Yes. And, and don't get me wrong, the ray tracing stuff, if you're not familiar with what ray tracing is, so beam of light comes in, it hits an object, and light scatters. That's ray tracing about how light reflects and refracts off of objects. It looks really cool, it's neat, and it's whatever. And that's what they spent a significant amount of their time on, and that's great. But the problem is, is that when, once people started playing with these games, there was a, a one website, I can't remember, PC Gamers, but it was a European mm -hmm. iteration of it, got their hands on the new Tomb Raider that uses ray tracing. Mm -hmm. And it was barely getting like 40 frames per second at 1080p with this on. Now, everyone's mm -hmm. going to write in and say, look, but the, the drivers will improve and all that stuff. That's great. But you know what people wanted, Paul, from this generation of GPUs? Do you know what they wanted? For them not to be slower? Uh, they, they wanted 60 frames per second on a 4K display. That is yeah. what people want. Because, Paul, what do you, you know what the most popular video game is right now? Uh 
<laughs> it's probably Fortnite, but yeah, probably. well, yes, and it's not exactly known for its realistic graphics. What they want right. is to be able to That's run right. Fortnite with more frames at higher resolution. <clears throat> yep. And right now, we don't know if these brand new GPUs, which granted, uh, top out at about twelve hundred bucks, are going to yeah. deliver. Yeah, yeah. 4k 60 frames per second or even 4k 144 frames per second to match that 144 hertz right and this is making me nervous because that's ray tracing is great but i don't that's like the sprinkles it doesn't matter if your ice cream is just melting <laughs> <laughs> what uh what what's the availability on these things like when so, do they ship this is that's actually a very interesting point too paul i know you uh, intended to bring that up so they're going to start shipping in september uh mm -hmm. late september i believe right around ignite actually sometime around then but what's interesting about this and somebody please correct me if i'm wrong i know you have no problem doing that but what's interesting about this is typically when nvd would launch a card they launched their 1080 and then a year later they launched like the high-end super performance version known as the ti this year, they're launching the 2080 and the 2080 Ti at the same time, Yeah, which makes me believe uh, that maybe the performance isn't as good, and so they're trying to get that, that extra performance version out now, but um, yeah. I, uh, I'm, if you can't run a game at 60 frames per second on 4K reliably with high settings with this generation GPU... Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like this is new um, breed of companies, and they're they're not new companies, but they're just suddenly thrust into the spotlight, right? Like Qualcomm is a good example of this. Uh, Nvidia, obviously, who we're talking about right now. Even companies like you know Huawei, which is mm -hmm. um, enormous in China, and um, they they suddenly find themselves in a spotlight, literally, and they feel the need to kind of justify why they deserve, you know this attention um, GPUs have been found to be very beneficial in non-gaming workloads mm -hmm. and I think that kind of surprised people and all of a sudden this big AI machine learning you know data mining kind of thing this is a big deal for these kinds of chipsets and yeah I don't think too many people tuned in to see how fast this thing could handle AI you know, or whatever, right. like, I, um, in fact, you know, I, I think it's maybe important to point out that gaming overall, I mean, granted, there's way more to gaming than just PC gaming, but, you know, gaming overall mm -hmm. is a bigger market than Hollywood movies, you know, the biggest video games in the world each year make more money than the biggest movies. Um, this market alone is important, you know, and I, getting this right I think is job one and it's it's just it's kind of a weird disconnect you know it's like when we went to microsoft build and we're waiting and waiting and waiting for them to talk about windows and it's mm -hmm. like a throwaway in a segment about microsoft 365 you know yeah it's just it's weird yep it is i granted i will happily eat my foot or whatever the saying is if the benchmarks come out and they just blow things off the door but the fact that somebody got their hands on the new Tomb Raider and it wasn't doing um, even yeah. ma probably matching current gen with ray tracing on. Because here's what's going to happen. Everyone's going to get the game and they want the max performance. So what mm -hmm. are they going to do? They're going to turn off that extra feature. They're, they're, they want performance because that's what yeah. matters in a first person shooter is being able to see them and react faster than having the lights scatter yep. correctly. Yep. Yep. Now, I'm, I don't want someone to say like ray tracing. This is the worst thing ever. There's there's benefit to ray tracing stuff but not uh, yeah. it, it's for, it's good for movies and watching video playback and all that mm -hmm. i don't know how great it is for first person shooters because people again want performance over um a, a candle flicker reflecting correctly so <laughs> i mean the biggest games in the world are fortnite um pubg is up there but you got like yeah. fortnite you've got games like dota you've got uh, csgo Overwatch and all those in there and, yeah, you know, yeah minecraft none of those games are going for the realistic look and right they want right. again performance so we will see yep we will see but on the happier side of life paul google assistant now delivers positive vibes for free. <laughs> i know i saw this get the feel goods from google hey google I'm actually kind of like this. So in a super high level nutshell, what it does is so if you if you ask the device to read the news, if, I don't know if anybody's read the headlines lately, but they're all a little kind of make you want to drink the paint that's 
currently being painted on Paul's wall. And yeah. so if you say, tell me something good, it'll actually just kind of filter out the bad and only read the, the positive headlines if you want to put yourself into that kind of sheltered world. I can tell things are going poorly uh, because the New York Times has a regular segment on their front page called something like, you know, there's good news out there too. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, guys, like, <laughs> like, uh, it's just, yeah. Yep. And then the other thing which dropped about 10 seconds before we uh, we started this podcast is mm -hmm. that the official release date for PUBG on the Xbox One will be September 4th and it will come with a new map, which I'm guessing is San Hook, uh, mm -hmm. a new mode and custom games. So, so they must have um, solved all the performance problems. Um, yeah. <laughs> I will tell you that the game is now, play it is playable. It's far from being the best shooter on, or best performing shooter on the Xbox One yeah. X. Um, they just pushed out a patch today that does dynamic lighting. Actually, one of the neat things now is you can be playing on a map and it will start out as a sunny day. The clouds will roll in, then it might rain, and then it might get sunny again, or maybe it gets foggy. It's dynamic weather. Um, I, I think that kind of thing's cool. In yeah. fact, that has the chance to really um, change the tenor of a map. You know, yep. in um, the latest Call of Duty game, for example, it shipped with a, a remade version of a map from the very first Call of Duty called Carrington, and that's great. It's kind of... Um, you know, nostalgic or whatever. But uh, some somewhere in the fall of last year, or right before the winter, they added a winter. In fact, they replaced the original with a winter version, which is unique to this game. Mm -hmm. And that's cool too. But I, I think it'd be, I think it'd be cooler if, like, you know, weather could occur or not occur. You, like any given game, you never know what you're going to get. Um, I think that's, yeah. I think that kind of thing's really neat. That has, that's got some potential. Yeah. The, the other kind of neat thing that adds is that. Um, when it gets dark or if, it, if it's a game at dusk, it's actually kind of mm -hmm. hard to see objects inside the house that you need to pick up. So yeah. it kind of, it changes up your strategy from running into the densest, darkest buildings to mm -hmm. saying, okay, maybe I need one that's a little bit more exposed so you can, you can loot faster. So September 4th. Yeah. No, that's great. I, yeah, there are other actually Call of Duty examples where it's a static maps where, mm -hmm. you know, one, one map, the original map might've been like rainy and dark. And then they made like a, for some reason they're really into, um, St. Patrick's Day, so they do like a really colorful green light version of it, you know, for St. Patrick's Day or whatever. But a dynamic is that. See, that's that would be a good use of a GPU right there. Yeah, dynamic weather and lighting. That's excellent. Yeah, I, I'm a I'm a big fan of it. It makes the game more challenging, but it keeps it mixed up. And so uh, oh, that's so really I'm, good. At, that's yeah. I I'm like still that. having a lot of fun. I'm just looking at my Elite controller, and it is on its um, <laughs> proverbial last leg, or I should mm -hmm. say, it last rubber grip. And uh, I, I think there's one coming in October, but we'll see. My Elite controller is the uh, hardware version of a three-legged dog. <laughs> you know, it's just kind of sad looking. Mm -hmm. It's still fine. It's just you feel bad for yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Speaking of dogs, I wish I was as happy as anything as my dog <laughs> is about a treat after going piss outside. A dog will attack your hand to get a treat. And it is, I just wish I'd be that happy about anything, Paul. I won't say that word out loud because my dog would literally come running in here. Um, but uh, yeah, we've uh, because it is a stone cold killer and would destroy <laughs> any animal it could get its you know mouth around. We have to bring we actually bring those with us when we walk. And uh, if she can avoid lunging at or barking at another animal, she will be rewarded. Yeah. Yep. You got anything else for today, Mister Threat? Uh. Yeah, nothing major. I'm working. I, I'm actually going to be out for a bunch of. I have to go on some various errands today. I got to do some shipping. I got to. In fact, here uh, I've got something coming for you that still hasn't shipped, but hopefully today. Oh, that's. Oh, um, ooh, 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 I know yeah. what you're talking about. Um, I am working on a. I, I, <laughs> it's kind of a, a continuation of my Pixel thing. Like I don't have any problems with the device right now, but um, I'm. I want to kind of avoid using the USB port as much as I can because, you know, <laughs> recent history. So uh, I've been solving my problems like an Apple user by throwing more money at it. And then I finally woke up and realized maybe this wasn't the best approach. And uh, I'll, I'll have something about that today, maybe, depending on how the schedule goes. But. That sounds a lot like my golf game. Just throw more money <laughs> at it and realize maybe. maybe I will say, it. you know, if you were rich, like there, there is almost no problem that money can't solve. Um, but... Yeah, it's not always the best approach. Mm -hmm. If you're not, it probably is almost never, actually. I don't know. What about you? Um, 
I got a couple things I need to write up. Uh, oh, by the way, if you're listening to this, the Petri and Threat surveys are now available. Uh, you probably have no idea what that means, but we're doing a reader survey. And if you want a Surface Go, one of these guys, you can win one. Uh, we're, all you gotta do is just take the survey. You can find ads just popping up on our site or in the emails that we send out. If you don't mind taking those guys, um, you'll get dropped in the, the pool to win one of those. So that's about it. Cool. Where do they find these surveys, Brad? Where, uh, some, well, I'm going to post a link on, well, I should probably do it on both sites. They might actually just be front page posts. Uh, there's definitely going to be one of them on Petri. I don't know why I wasn't thinking I was going to do it for Throt, but probably should. So, yeah. 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 All right, bye. <laughs>